Ian, defeat to Port Vale, how do you view that one? It's a very strange game. Um, in the first half, with a far superior team, there's absolutely no question about that. We should really go in more than 1 0 up. We have so many big chances. It's only 1 0. Um, I think that's a bit unfortunate. But at the same time, I think we have control of the game. We knew in the in the second half that Port Vale would have to throw everything at us and take big risks, and they play with more risk. Um, I thought that they didn't. They had a lot of the ball and they, they had some territory, but they didn't really create too many opportunities. I don't remember Luke making many big saves. Or um, I think the break in play for for the injury just off kind of disrupts the balance of the game a little bit, and, and we just struggled to come back from that. Um, I think it's a 100% clear foul on Don Bernard before the first goal. I don't know why the linesman's not flagged for that, um, which is disappointing, but we don't seem to get those little margins that we need. Um, you know, five minutes before that, when Marchie's through on goal, they blow up for, a, for an injury. Um, they're the margins. You know, we're through on goal, about to score, we get pulled back. Five minutes later, um, you know, the, there's, a, there's a foul on Don Bernard not given, and it's 1 1. And at that point, you know, when you're in the position that we're in, we look vulnerable. We, 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 we lack that little bit of killer instinct and that confidence that, that is natural when you're down there. Um, and, and it could have gone either way. You know, Matty Stevens had a header just before they got the penalty. It's small, small, small margins. And of course, the penalty on 98 minutes is a killer. It was literally the perfect start. And some of the quick tempo football you played in that first half, did you feel like that was the best we'd seen since, since the Cheltenham game? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, I thought we, we we had some good moments in the first half against MK Dons, but certainly at home, that's um, a big step forward from where we were against Burton. I thought we came out the traps well. It, we really moved the ball, uh, passed it slickly, and looked good. So, um, yeah, look, we, we started to tire in the second half. You know, Miles Harris has played a lot of football. He was feeling his hamstrings before the game, so we just had to be a bit careful there. And, and um, I thought Jammer came on and gave us something up front. And at the same time, Carl McAllister the same, you know. I thought he was playing so well, but with the break in play, he's been struggling with his back. His back seized up and he was struggling to run. So, you know, we had we had a couple of four substitutions there that that lost us the flow a little bit as well. When it is 1-0 at 86 minutes, you'd be disappointed to draw, never mind lose. Has that just come back to the game management point that we spoken about earlier in the season as well? It's a little bit about that, but the game became, you saw the weather coming in, it was horrific weather, um, and the game became a bit chaotic at that point. Both teams wanted to try and win it. Um, we had one or two chances at the top end, um, but of course every time we went forward they looked dangerous on the counter-attack and it was a bit end-to-end uh, -end stuff and of course the, the penalty was, was a killer moment in there. A break from league action now, FA Cup against Birmingham and the January transfer window, of course, opening. How do you view that? Yeah, look, we, we, we spoke at the start of December, we were six points adrift um, from Cambridge in that moment. And, and we said what was really important was that we strengthen in January, we have a plan for that, um, and that we close the gap uh, on being outside the relegation zone. You know, we, on 86 minutes today, we, we're outside the relegation zone. That's the stark reality of it. And 10 minutes later, we're bottom of the league. It's so tight down there. But we're only two points adrift. Um, I feel like we should be out of it. We're not. But at the same time, we now get an opportunity to reinforce, to, to bring in some fresh bodies and fresh minds, which I think is really important because um, it's very difficult when you're in this situation. Uh, the players' mindset and um, confidence is, is low. So we need to try and bring in some new energy into the group.